Are you gonna actually work for me, game? Is this is this a strong possibility? Can you please with with strawberries and and cherries on top? Please, are you gonna? <gasps> you work! Yay! This is Mario Central finishing the mission that we abandoned in the last one. And I looked it over, and I'm very apologetic. I don't think I'm gonna show what happened, but uh, it's I, let's just say it wasn't. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, no, no, no. You see, I almost made the same mistake. I almost made the same mistake. I already went through that ring. Okay, good. You see, I learned this time. I learned. It's no more fool me twice. All right. Oh, jeez. I, I thought I, I thought seriously the game had freaked out. <laughs> I would have been that would have been so funny had I not learned from the last time. Oh my goodness, but I I'm not gonna show the rest of the four because I actually sh I'm probably just gonna show that in a bit of a clip in the last one I'm just gonna go for this last one to the corner over here because it's funny how I made a big deal about that one to the left And I didn't even end up seeing this one I'm like what are you serious? <laughs> this one's the hardest of them all because you kind of have to you really have to aim for. I think probably that's good. And it is! Alright, that was a perfect shot. Alright, I know my shots when I see them. Dang, oh, that's probably why I'm so good at pool. Haha, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Not that great. Oh, wow. But it's funny. As soon as, as soon as I finished that last episode, I had to make sure. I had to look back and, and see that I had a valid reason for complaining. And it ends up that I did not, <laughs> so it's a good thing I ended up looking back. I, I completely blame myself, I honestly do. Oh my goodness. But now that we're finished aim the turret, we can finally get on to one of the more... I, I really like this one, the red coins in the crater. This one is really cool because all the red coins are generally in this area. You don't have to go inside anywhere, and to get the 100 coins is fun. The only one that can be a little troublesome is one with the box enemy, which, as you know, <laughs> these guys freak me out. They look like cigarette boxes, although they aren't. The more I look at them, they have a coin on top, and they also, I don't know, they, they just seem kind of like a little mobile tank. Like, I, I don't know. That, that's, that's what it looks like to me now, <laughs> now that I take a closer look at it, it. You can see in the distance. But it still looks like that. I, I wonder what... What was the inspiration for, for making an enemy like that? Like, I, I really have no idea. It just, it's so weird, because sometimes it glitches you under under its, uh, boxy self. And then sometimes it just runs you over. I, I like, I don't know. It's a weird enemy. I just, I, I wonder what the inspiration was. Was this from a previous Mario enemy that I never heard of? Was this just an enemy that he's just like, oh, well, you know what? This would be a neat idea. <laughs> Skalux, once again, you know, if you're watching this video, which I doubt you are, but, uh, if you're watching now, I'd like to know. <laughs> just, just leave me a comment, because that's another thing I'd like to ask him. Because that's one thing, then the other thing was about, uh, that previous mission in the previous, uh, world, and then also the cracks in the wall underground, was that just for Stahl, or was there actually something to it? There's always... It's funny, with every game, there's always a question you have. And this game has a lot of questions. <laughs> it, it does. There's a lot of neat secrets in it, and I'll sh definitely show that off in a bonus episode or something. But in every game, there's always those questions that you have. Is like, was this intended for this? What? When you play enough games, you start to ask those questions. It's, it, it's reflective as, as you as you as a gamer because you, you start to ask those questions. Like, well, how come this is like this and this is like this? Because you start to get a grasp for how a game is made, right? And when you when you notice these things, it's just, it's it's pretty cool, because you you have that new sense that you're like, Oh, well, you know what? I never noticed that before. I, that's pretty cool. And then you start to have some questions of your own. So it just, it's really cool how you, the more you play games, the more you start to understand them. I want to get those coins. Please don't disappear. Please don't disappear. I'm right there. I'm coming for you, coins. No. Mario was here to save you and put him in, put in, in his trousers. What are, what are these calls again? Overalls, that's it. <laughs> Overalls. Oh, man. I used to ma get made fun of for wearing those snow pants when I was younger. <laughs> My parents were always like, You gotta wear those snow pants <laughs> when it snowed. Couldn't go without it, and I always looked like a... I mean, I, I didn't look like a fool. I was... Because, I was, you know, I was the only one that didn't end up getting sick. It's funny, everyone's getting sick these days. 
and I, you know, I've been out in the cold, I've been waiting for my bus and all this, and I haven't even gotten a trace of sickness. It's crazy. I, uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know how people keep getting sick these days. <laughs> I think it's just all, it, it stems all the way from when I was younger. I never used to, well, I did used to get sick a lot when I was younger, but as I got older, I started having those streaks where it's like four years went by and I never went, got sick. I'm trying to start another personal streak. I, it's been about two years since I've been sick again, so hopefully I can keep that up. <laughs> hopefully. Now we got... Okay, so there's two more red coins, I want to say? Or is there one more? I can't remember. Uh, let me just check the start screen real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! Oh, I'm missing two. Oh, okay, okay, I know where they are. Okay, I was just trying to recollect my thoughts there. All right. So one of them is... Both of them, actually, are going up the Starlight Runway. Let me just be careful of this guy. Yo! I need your coin, stat! Thank you! Very much, good sir. That is what you are needed for, instead of throwing Mario off of stuff and being annoying. Because sometimes you don't even do damage! That's what's so irritating about him. He's just like, Ha ha! I'ma chuck ya! <laughs> it's like that, uh, those Piantas in Mario Sunshine. I'm a chuckster! Hello! <laughs> and he just chucks you for no good reason. I need that coin, I need that coin, darn! I want to get 100 coins before I get to this red coin here, because it's really dangerous and I have a feeling I might die. Let me just uh, get this guy, can I get his co You had to go down there. There's a box enemy down there, by the way, so I'll be very- Oh, I see an item box! <gasps> Please tell me this will get me enough. Please tell me this will get me enough! Yes! Alright! That's it. Oh, wow, that's pretty high up. Let me get it again. Alright, so we got 116th star. Wow. You know what? I think I'm going to actually end be able to conclude things in this one. I know, right? Wow. <laughs> Who'd have thought that, that the time would come? I will tell you this, though, is it won't be over for the week I will do the 120 stars, but in total in this game, there is... If I don't know if I mentioned this already, but there are 130 stars in this game. So there are 10 additional stars. They're, they're very quick. They go by very quickly, except for one area. Which, again, that will be like a bonus episode, so I'll get into releasing that next week. This is what I meant about that red coin being dangerous, because that guy and that bomb like to team up to make a fearsome duo and try to get you to fail right before you get that last coin. Oh, God. Because you can easily, because he kind of sneaks up on you sometimes. He's just like, whoa, my coin, and then runs you over. <laughs> it glitches you under his boxy self, as I like to refer it. Let me just get rid of it. The other red coin is actually all the way up there. You can see it in the distance. I actually now just saw it. This one took me a while to find the first time, and uh, now I know where it is, thankfully, because, oh, I can see, oh, you jerk sniff it. That was uncalled for, and I am very fearful now. I need to find some coins. Step, I've taken all of them. That's not a good thing, is it? All right, I found some coins uh, off of these bomb bombs, including that, so hopefully that'll keep me alive. Uh, I've, I've stolen basically all the coins, please don't fall, that would have actually killed me. So thank goodness. Uh, here, I need to make it to that red coin. Fast and furious! Yay! I did it. Now, I'm not gonna take the leap of faith because I'm scared. So I'm going to uh, make sure to get some coins. I left some over there. In fact, that box holds 10. So I probably should have gone there in the first place, but oh well. I'm gonna save them for now. Now is the right time. Yeah! If you're looking for it, if you're not, if you don't have any more coins, well, here's 10 right for you, or 15, 14, I don't even know how much that was. Let's go down and get ourselves the star! Oh, I went the wrong way, I thought the star was there. That would have been epic, a 50-foot jump into the star. <laughs> That's like a new uh, Mario animation or something, a 50-foot jump into the star, woo! Got it. I nearly pulled it off, too, that was close. But here we go with the last mission of this world. I can't believe I'm actually saying that, but this is the last official star of this game. Wow. <laughs> the rest are basically going to be secret stars, but my goodness, this has passed by quite quickly. This one's a very, very cool. I like this one. It, it could be a little glitchy from time to time because of this guy, <laughs> but what you got to do is that you will see that there's a star in the cage over there. So what you got to do is you see that there's a pipe. Well, where is there another pipe in this world? Well, there's actually one on top of this test tube right over here. I don't even know if these are test tubes, they kind of look like it though. There's one right over there that you gotta get to. You can either jump to it from there, or push the box all the way there, which I think I'm gonna do that because right now my platforming techniques are at an old time low. 
Is that that's better? All right, all right. Let me just. Yahoo! All right, very good. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Maybe yeah. Let me just push the box then. <laughs> Forget about that. I love performing long jumps in tight corners though. They make you feel like you're a pro. <laughs> like you could just pull it off. Just like pulling off a triple jump in a very tight corner. You feel like, oh yeah, I know my stuff, man. Let me just be careful here. Oh jeez. Okay. I just I don't want to alert that box enemy over there because he is now my new nightmare. Please stay away from me. All right. Oh god. Oh jeez. No, get it. Get away. Please go on the box. Thank you. No, not that box. The other box. I, I know Mario. It's not that specific, but still. No, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> please don't eat me, box. Don't eat me. All right. Um, let me try back flipping. Oh, that didn't work. Whoa. Hold on a second. Why did that not work? Excuse me. Get your head in there. Thank you, alright. And there's your star, ladies and gentlemen. The last official star in Mario Star Road. So many stars. Stars! Everywhere, it's like gold. It's like the good old uh, stereotypical country. Oh, Texas gold! Gold, gold! <laughs> well, now it's stars! Power stars! Oh, yeah! Or it's like uh, that, that commercial that constantly runs. We buy your used gold, gold jewelry. Oh yeah! <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. It's called Oliver's Jewelry. Oh my God, that commercial constantly runs over here. I don't know if you guys get that. In fact, I don't know, Mr. Yugla, do you get that over there? In, uh, in, I think it was Calgary. You said that, that would be interesting. It, it's kind of a. It's not that famous, but it just these commercials are so terribly bad that it it, it gets so much. Uh, attention like there's this one commercial where he's like I'm the cash man you give you give me money for your old gold yeah yes I'm the cash man <laughs> you give me money for your old oh yeah <laughs> I can't believe I remember that whole commercial oh my god quite please me oh you pyro gyro you you couldn't help yourself could you you see you saw the moment and you seized it for that, I give you a slap of applause. Let's try this again. All right, that was way better timing. You want to time that right at the beginning of that slide. And that's what I like so much about that technique. That's a really cool technique that you can propel yourself forward with that slide jump. But just an another good usage of some Mario techniques that didn't get used in Mario 64. Pretty cool, I like it. This is really tricky here. Take your time, center the camera, Make sure you grab onto the ledges. I find it's easier to do that instead of making like a double jump. Because I find every time I try to do that, it just goes right off the edge. I just like to make the ledge grabs. Please. Yes, alright, that was good, that was good. This is very, very tight. Let me just, um... Uh, I'm gonna take my absolute time here. I don't care if you guys are bored, I'm gonna make sure I do this. I can't believe I did this on two tries, wow. I just, wow, that's surprising, wait, where did you come, where did you, no, no, that was a collaborative effort, how dare you, but you know what, just like I said to the other guy, you saw a plan, and you thought it through, for that, I give you another slap of applause, alright, you know what, because I'm gonna break up that little plan of yours, yeah, you, you thought you were, you, you were tricking me by doing nothing, but no, I see your ruse, and I, uh, almost fell for it again, <laughs> He, did, was it me or did he just move quicker than usual? That was weird. Let me uh, get rid of this plan once and for all. Oh. <laughs> no longer. In fact, you, I'm, the, I'm way ahead of you this time. That's right. That's right. Oh, I still got hit, but that's right. I wasn't at the edge this time. I wouldn't have fallen off if it wasn't for that purple bomb on because you just pushed me right off. All right, that's it, number 119, and now we can go and take on Bowser himself. Oof, I can't wait. All right, here we are, back at this point. This is basically where it bridges off if you want to get the secret star or you want to go to Bowser. It's basically right over here, so let's be very careful of that guy. He loves to put those enemies in this game. I mean, as I said, you will love, you will come to hate those guys eventually. Because he just loves putting them anywhere. Right here, seems like a simple pathway, but it's bombarded with water bombs. So be very careful that you kill this Goomba and make your way across without getting pummeled by one of these things. Because you could accidentally slip off the edge. What do I do here? Oh, right! Oh, that's not good. 
How about we try going on the slide? Whee! That was fun. Alright. <laughs> Let's try that again. I actually didn't rec recognize what to do there. That was kind of a shame. Oh well. I got three lives. It's okay. This is one thing that I don't think ever gets talked about with a Mario game. You know, the Bowser fights may be easy. I'll grant it, they are. Some of them are not... You know, some of them are hard, like Mario World. But the road to get to Bowser is always difficult. And that's something that I really like. You know, the path to get to Bowser is really difficult. And that's what just makes it all the more satisfying when you finally finish him off. Because, you know, you feel so... You're like, oh my god, I went through all of that to get to you, and now you're finally finished. Hell yes! You feel accomplished. And, I, I you know, not a lot of bosses final bosses feel that way, but this one, Bowser always does, and that's why, to me, he's always one of the greater Nintendo bosses, because the path to get to him is so dang difficult, not only in the final level, but just in general. It always is, and it's just, that's something I always appreciate Mario games for doing. And then, the final boss fight itself, it may not be hard, but it's entertaining as heck. I mean, anyone that's played Mario Galaxy will know that that fight was really fun. And I think, apparently, Mario Galaxy 2's was a lot more better. I haven't actually looked at the final boss there. And I can't wait to, hint, hint, when I actually do it. Which, yeah, I don't know, you guys can assume when that will be. But I think this is the final step right here. I just gotta... Whoa! Okay, not do that. I've come so far. Please, please do not kill me now. There it is. Alright, just make sure to get rid of this sniffed guy immediately. Because he has killed me multiple times when I was there. It's not even funny. Uh, I think about three times or four, three or four times he killed me because I didn't really... I thought I could just bypass him, but every single time he got me. But here it is! I warned you, Mario. This mysterious world has given me so much power you can even see my skin glowing. With pure energy, I will flick you aside and then the Mushroom Kingdom will be mine to rule! Ha 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 ha! Oh, God, just listen to this song for a moment and see if you can recognize it. Wowzers, it's Kirby's Dreamland 2 Dark Castle. Wow, what a perfect theme! I love this! Such an awesome theme. Preferably, I prefer the final boss uh, music from Mario 64, but God! What a, what a cool theme, though, honestly. Any Kirby fan, you know exactly when you hear this song. It's just... The way he remixed it, too, was so good. When it goes to that da 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 he puts a little beat to it. Dun, 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 tss, dun, 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 tss. I love it. It's perfect. Like you, you couldn't ask for a better remix. And right now, I'll be honest with you. I think uh, this fight is really easy, especially compared to the original. The original has him actually breaking the platforms. Here it remains the same, so it's still pretty easy. Now all you got to really do for him is just wait until he does the flamethrower, or just get behind him. It still is possible, even though he moves ridiculously fast. But uh, I didn't actually talk about the music in the world we were just in. It was the music x Not Fortress from uh, Paper Mario, which is very fitting for a final level. It always sounds like that final level, in fact, and it's so dang retro. It just fits in this world. All the music choices in the game were brilliant. I, I just love it. I mean, now there you go. That's Now it's possible to actually grab him and finish him off with style and grace and explosions. <laughs> because all those things mixed together. Roar, I can't believe you beat me even with all this extra power. I should have been able to squash you like a bug. Don't think you've won though, Mario. As long as my troops still have any of the 120 power stars that I gave them, they will have the strength to continue causing chaos everywhere. Demonstrating the power of the Mushroom Kingdom's true ruler. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Now that is awesome. I love I love that dialogue right there. That was, that was very good. Or monologue, I should say. But that is it. We see ourselves with the Grand Star. Everything is silent. Not even steps can be heard. And we are going to grab it in an epic way and not fail. Let's do it. 
Triple jump? But st oh, I missed. That just totally ruined everything. Good job. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I, I gotta do this right. One, two, three. Power Star is ours. <gasps> it's Peach and it's Mario Galaxy music. Yay! Oh, what an awesome combination that my voice completely cracked. Good stuff. You did it, Mario. You saved the Mushroom Kingdom from Bowser's terrors. We all have very much to thank you for once again, Mario. Keep searching for the rest of the Power Stars. The more we have, the more of Bowser's remaining troops we can banish from the kingdom. Now that actually makes sense. I like that they actually encourage you to try to get all the Power Stars, but the last Power Star is right over there in the distance. In this now changed Mushroom Kingdom, we are in the night sky. I love this. Let's talk to some of the Toads over here. You're the greatest, Mario. I was so sick of those Goombas breaking into my house to jump on my bed. Oh, you know, because I know those problems, too. I hate it when Goombas come in my house and jump on my bed. It's the worst. You gotta clean them off, and you gotta stomp on them, and then, you know, be be tragic for their loss, because, you know, we, we know their story. <laughs> oh, Lord. Did you ever work out how to reach the lockout on top of Starly Tower? All I know is that the pipe leading there is hidden somewhere very windy. So he gives you a little clue there as to where to go to find to get to the top of the tower. It's actually pretty cool. It's a little neat secret that, again, I'll show off at another time. want to see if there is a toad back here, though. No, no toad? Oh, well. <laughs> Wait, no, is there? Let me let me actually check. Maybe the... Oh, no, 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 he's not over there. I want to talk to all the toads, man. It's our time to talk and... It's time to reflect on the project that's been. This game doesn't have any credits or anything like that, so I'm actually just going to uh, spout out my thoughts about this and, in general, the game in the next little bit. Let me just see. I think there's one more toad over here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Good old toad. What's up? How you doing? Are you going to go keep searching for the Power Stars now, Mario? You're ready to go grab those Power Star right over there. So that is the 120th Power Star. We're going to say that for a very special moment. <laughs> we gotta end things off the right way. But first, let's go... I think there's a toad over. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh, he's just sitting in the spot where we have to come after we get 120 stars. It's a great spot to sit and stare at the stars. Again, another hint as to what you have to do. And with that, people, uh, this has been a great project. Thank you all for watching. Wow, I mean... This is the first time I've actually seen this LP uh, this game get this type of LP because I never actually seen someone do it completely Maybe I just haven't looked hard enough because I always see bits and pieces that people do this game and I don't think that's right this game deserves a full LP and this is why I wanted to do it And I'm not even done with it, but I have to have my final thoughts here and now I think this project turned out pretty well considering you know, I didn't uh, this was all on the computer and uh, you know, I didn't I know some things about the game, not everything, and I thought it turned out pretty well considering I wrapped this up in a pretty short amount of time. Uh, I mean, short amount of parts, not time. It did have some delays here and there. But, as I've said multiple times, if a game like this can be made from, you know, another game, you know, like, you can think about how much I like the original if I was willing to play through a game like this. This game has its problems, but it gets fixed. You know, it, it, it's gotten a fix, and it's much more better, and it still lacks some of the polish that Mario 64 has, even with the fix. I have tried it out, actually. But, um, you know, it's still a fantastic game. And imagine if a game can use, a game like this can use the original game's engine and, and work it out this well, and it's better than many other games I've played. And, you know, it's just, it's... It's something to tell you about how great Mario 64 is. Mario 64 truly is not the greatest game of all time. In my opinion, you know, it's definitely solid. But obviously, I think even Sunshine and Galaxy outdo it. But what I consider Mario 64 to be, which a lot of people, I think, know now, is that it's truly revolutionary for its time. It's standardized 3D gaming. It standardized, in general, you know, how games should be made. And you, you just can't help but notice that and be like, well, that's just an achievement in itself. Mario 64 truly is spectacular. I don't think it's the greatest game of all time. No, I think Mario Sunshine and Galaxy outdo it. But it's truly revolutionary. I don't think there's any other game that can say it's as revolutionary as Mario 64. In fact, it, it's proof that, I mean, games like this exist that are, you know, hacks of the original and are so good 
and this is just proof that the original is just that darn good. It inspired Skalux to make a game like this, and it just it goes to show you how good that game was and how it really standardized and really just laid out the blueprint for how 3D games should be made. It just it really is awesome to play this again. Uh, you know, I, I mainly wanted to do Mario 64 again because I wasn't pleased with how it first turned out. And to have this opportunity again and do it in a totally different way, going through another 15 worlds and getting another 120 power stars, it means a lot. It was my first own game. And with that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this LP. Thank you all for watching as we claim our final star. This is Mario Central, signing off.